Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Let's get chatting about the game because we have got two guests uh, with vested interest in this mm. one. Man United fan, Flex. Man City fan, Big Steve. Interestingly, uh, Paul Dickov just texted me, Man City legend, saying, say hi to Big Steve, he's a top man. Brilliant. Go. Paul, what did Paul Dickov say about me? He didn't. No. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, we have got you in the studio. How's this going to work, uh, Joe? Because it's a bit different, this one. Yeah, so obviously we're building a combined 11. Usually we do it based on this season. But that would be a bloodbath, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, I mean, I don't mean to see a single Manchester United fa face up there. So instead, we are doing a combined 11 based on the Premier League era. So Ooh. we've asked Flex to build what he thinks is the greatest Manchester United team of yep. the Premier League era. And Steve has done that with Manchester City. They're going to battle it out player by player in an attempt to build the ultimate Manchester Premier League era combined 11. This is this hard, is by the way. And also, I am kind of biased here. So you're going to have to make decisions, mate. <laughs> Get off the fence. Unfortunate. That's well, right, Joe. I'm tell happy him. to. You tell him. I'm happy tell to, him. but it's going to end up an awful lot of red okay, on there. I'm happy with that, actually. I'm more than happy to that. And I will base it based on the best argument. I think so. so You've got, you got to give me an argument, because we know these are all top players. Mm. So let's start with the goalkeeper. Who have you put down as your greatest goalie for your respective clubs in the Premier League era? Peter Schmeichel for Flex. Yep. Edison for Big Steve. <laughs> Steve, kick us off. Why Edison? Obviously, he's, he's now won the treble. Um, the Premier League's he's won, Golden Gloves, etc. But I just think he's changed goalkeeping in this country. I think once Edison started playing out from the back and once Pep got his idea that we were going to start from the back, I think most teams now are trying to emulate it, even them across the road who've now signed a goalkeeper to try and do this, but it's not working. <laughs> so at the end of the Pep day... <laughs> Peter Schmeichel's a fantastic goalkeeper, don't get me wrong, I love mm. Peter Schmeichel, I think he was a monster goalkeeper. But I just think Edison's changed goalkeeping in this country. And I think, you know, playing out from the back, assists from a goalkeeper, things like that. I know Schmeichel scored once, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, Has he done that? We, we dare not let him go up front. He <laughs> stay up there, you know what I mean? So, But no, I think Edison, for what he's done, Schmeichel's a legend and he's retired and people know him as a legend, but look at what Edison's done in the Premier League and look how he's changed it and everyone's trying to copy that now. So I think Edison needs his props. I'll be honest, Steve. You disagree? I, uh, just, I do. I'm going to go with my guy, Pete Schmeichel. I thought we would be able to agree on this. He's played for your club as well, so Ooh. I thought we might be able to just, you know, once he'd packed it in and won all he wanted to win, he still wanted to stay in Manchester, didn't want to move back to Denmark, thought I'd just nip across the road, you know? Um, but it's tough because this is a different era. So mm. I feel like Peter Schmeichel was the original make yourself big. You know, you're a big figure in goal, imposing, massive shot stopper. You know, back then when, when Peter Schmeichel used to play, the whole playing out from the back, the whole football was different. So I get that. A lot of our players now are going to be from then and your players are going to be from now. But I don't want recency bias to kick in. This is the original superstar goalkeeper of the Premier League. Strikers were scared. You ask Ian Wright about Peter Schmeichel. Strikers were literally scared. I think if he would have played in this era, I think Peter Schmeichel would be one of the top keepers as well because I think he easily would have been able to learn how to distribute with his feet as well. He had absolutely ev everything. Mammoth of a man. And you talk about the treble. He, he won the treble before it was cool, mate. You know what I mean? Ooh. Tough one. Yeah, really tough. I, I think with regards to longevity... Uh, and, the, and also, he's the only goalkeeper to ever won a Premier League Player of the Year, what I think I'm right in, in, in saying. Just Schmeichel edges it for me. Would you, would you agree with that, Joe? Just, yeah. yeah. Just. Joe, would you agree? Okay. That? I, think, I think you made a good argument there, Flex. Yeah, I, I think, think Flex's point it, it w was a valid one. Longevity just takes it, mm. but obviously Edison's a top But keeper. this is tough, though, because it's like we're in, we're in complete different yeah, areas. Battle of I'm giving it to you. Yeah, exactly. Don't, yeah, don't yeah. change my mind. No, no, no. I'll just <laughs> okay, take it up. I just want to be fair. Right backs. Big one, this. This, this big is debate. a big debate, by the way. Carl Walker honest. versus Gary Neville. Let's come to Gary Neville yeah. first. I love Gary Neville. And actually, what Gary Neville does really well, he plays down what a good player he actually was. Too much, was. I think. He was an amazing player. He does. Player. He was a fantastic player. He was the best fullback in, in the country for many, many years. Very, very decorated footballer. Won it all. And you're talking about longevity and reinventing himself and making sure he can keep up with players that Gary always knew were more talented than him, more special than him, with the greatest respect. To keep doing that and to have that longevity at a club like Man United is fantastic. Um, so he's Man United's best right-back of all time. But <laughs> as a right-back for the Premier League era... It's Carl Walker. These probably are the best oh, two, aren't they? You're conceding. You're, you're conceding. Absolutely. Ooh, no, I, listen, Gary Neville, great player. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fantastic he was. I just think Kyle Walker takes it up a level. 
I just think he's got a little bit more than what. Well, the fact that Flex has conceded yeah. already, let's stick Carl Walker. Yeah. yeah. Flex said he thinks Carl Walker's the best right back in Premier League history, so he goes into it. Let's do centre backs and let's have a look at your pairings. So the two. Magnets yeah. Pull out the pick. pairings. Let's have a look. Because uh, again, so many players to choose from. Steve, let's have a look at yours, I mate. I think this is one of the hardest ones. I'm not going to lie. Company and Diaz, and you've gone Yap Stam and Rio Ferdinand, Oof. not Vidic. No, just uh, Yap Stam. I know there's the longevity thing that even Fergie said um, in his book. Sir Alex said that the biggest mistake he, he had was letting this man go too early mm. uh, when we let him go. And, and he arguably, I know he didn't do it for long enough, but I think he's arguably the best defender we've ever seen in the Premier League. Ooh. I would say that. I think Greatest if he... defender in Premier League history. Uh, uh, if, he, if he did it longer, I know it's, it's if, but, so maybe. I think he was good enough to to be that guy. Obviously, he's not because he didn't do it long enough, but that's how highly I regard Stam. In terms of Rio Ferdinand, Rio was the original Rolls-Royce yeah. defender. Yeah. You look at your favourite centre-backs around the world, they modelled a game off Rio Ferdinand. I think he was one of the... He was powerful, he was calm, he didn't have to go slide into tackle because he was very rarely out of position. He had the perfect partner in Vidic, by the way, I do agree with that, but he would make any team better, the original Rolls-Royce Rio Ferdinand. Steve? No, yeah, listen, Ruben Diaz, Vincent, Vincent Company is, is everything about Manchester City in the Premier League, leader, captain, do you know what I mean? He had a bad, terrible injury record, but always bounced back, um, led us to, to, to so many important victories, you know what I mean? We, we had a mentality at the club where we wasn't used to winning. I think Vincent came in, changed all that. Um, I think a lot of Premier League players always mention Vincent in that yeah. conversation mm. now. So I think he's well, up there. And Ruben Diaz, what he's done recently, three Premier Leagues, he's won the treble. He's a very aggressive, um, modern-day centre-back, you know what I mean? He's, um, he's up there with the best. I mean, listen, them two centre-backs there, Man United. Yeah, I was going to ask you, either of you, in terms of at the opposition players, either of you happy to concede with any of them? For me... For me if I was choosing off this four now, it'd be Rio Ferdinand and Vincent Company for me. I was about to say my two, yeah. as a, a referee, Julian yeah. would be Rio and Vincent. But if we're looking at longevity and yeah. factoring that in over the... I can, I can get on board with that. I can hey. get on board with that. OK, yeah. there we go. I think that's nice. Nice. Which Let's I agree with. I agree with One that. One each. Do you so care left centre back or right no, centre back? No. They're both just. Well, you're the gaffers. Well, Wherever you, you yeah. see fit. I like that. What neck, and neck at the moment. So far, neck Joe. and neck at I like the moment. That. Yeah. As we dip into the left backs. Interesting one, this. Where, yeah, I think this a little is. bit. Is the, yeah. I think this is an interesting pick from you as well. Dennis Irwin playing Gail Clichy. I think this is City's weakest position because. Because of the way you've not had a, left back not had a proper years. left back, exactly. <laughs> you haven't, <laughs> and you know you put either Cancelo there, Zinchenko's yeah. Ake, you know, there, Ake. Delph. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Won the league with Fabian Delph playing left back. So because of how good Pep is, mm. his uh, his emphasis on having a mm. thoroughbred left back hasn't had to really be part of his Manchester City makeup. So I think that gives me the upper hand here because I could have gone forever and I've obviously gone for Dennis Irwin here. For me, is mm. Manchester United's greatest ever left back. Fergie famously said as well, first name on the Manchester United mm. team sheet. He used to take penalties, was comfortable with both feet and actually having spoken to Dennis Irwin quite a lot, he does a lot of ambassadorial stuff mm. for Manchester United. I've asked him loads of times, what would you be like in today's yeah. game? This guy in today's game, being able to play on both flanks, both footed, yeah. put him in a Pep Guardiola team as Seven well. Mate. Titles. Seven love, titles. Love a lovely name drop there as well. Yeah. Also, 14 major trophies with Man United. Yeah. Mr. Reliable. I, I, I agree, sort of Absolute underrated. Bargain for my ball specialist. What a player. Everything. But you're Penalties as well. Cliche. As we just said, Man City left back position is the weakest. Mm. We don't have an out and out left back. The best Premier League left back um, for me it has been Gale. You know what I mean? He, he's won the Premier League numerous times. He was part of the Arsenal Invincible squad, although he was a fringe player. Um, but I'm going to concede to Dennis. Yes, OK. Yeah. You know Very what honest with mean? you. I think the fact that you said in your first answer you haven't had an out and out left back for a while, yeah. we'll go with Dennis. So now, what formation are we within a 4 3 3 here? <laughs> yeah. 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 OK, so the midfielders we... are tough here, aren't they? The midfielders, I think. Should we get are... the three midfielders out? Yeah, I think you're going to have to. I actually think you're going to have to because this is the most problematic yeah. area of the team, I think. <laughs> yeah, problematic. We well, it's amazing this is such a big debate. Yeah. yeah, this is, I mean, this is difficult. Have I got to decide this? Whoa, I'm seeing Rooney in a three. Oh, what? Flex. You're putting Rooney in midfield. Rooney's in number 10, mate. He's lost that. Oh. So, so, sorry, you've gone Roy Keane, Paul Scholes and Wayne Rooney. Yeah. You've gone Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne and Yaya Torre. What's Rooney doing in midfield? Rooney's in the 10. You ain't seen him, my striker, is you, have you? Playing 4 3 3, mate. Rooney you in midfield. You ain't seen the rest of my team. Joe, as a Man United fan, you're, you've slumped down in your chair. I can't believe you, you've thrown it away there. 
Why? Because now, because because can we then allow him to put Rooney in a front three? Rooney would have been the nine, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not when you see my nine. Is. Well, <laughs> not when you see my nine is, mate. Okay. Well, let's talk about the midfielders then, because I mean, this team. three. This is unbelievable. This, if you think about it, Rodri. Yeah, I'm having Rodri over Keane. Keane's old-fashioned. But aggressive. The battle of the year has come on. No, no, but well, it is. But we're going with your era because mm. you know it's like the sixties or something. But, you, know, <laughs> it's, uh, you keep going about these old guys. This is Rodri we're talking about. This well, we, we had to wait day. for you to get relevant is, in the is, in the current is, day, mate. We had day. to wait for you to arrive. This is modern day football. This is Rodri. Roy Keane in today's football sent off every game. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, See, off. there's this notion that Roy Keane was just some hard man who went around. Nah, he's not. He's a good player, but Roy he's not a Rodri level. Roy Keane not Rodri level. Would drag Man United through the mud. He was an ultimate captain. There's too much disrespect on Roy Keane to think that he was just as long for my life. Rodri could play centre back. He can play. He can drop deep in the midfield. He can play further forward. He can play anywhere. He, look at what he does with Man City. You've seen Manchester City without Rodri. You've seen Manchester City with Rodri. Rodri, with all the protection around him in the modern day game, right? You've got centre backs who are only playing against one, one forward. You've got wingers that are tucking in. You've got a whole set up around you. Back in the day when Roy Keane used to play, right? 4 4 2, go match your opposite number. Half the time, Rodri's got no pressure on him. Just come to the back four, collect it. Everyone's Everything's sitting back off. in the Pass day, though, isn't it? Right. back in the day, right. you know what I mean? No, I'm talking about the skill set. So if Roy Keane. Black and white TV. I'm talking about Dominic. <laughs> dominating your opposite number. If Roy Keane played now, today, he'd be absolutely at it. And half nah, of these soft players nah. who get away with it every week with no intensity in the Premier he League, he'd be, be absolutely at it, at it. not Just swanning around making five yards. Technically, passes. Rodri can do everything Roy Keane can do. Roy Keane can't do anything that Rodri can do. <laughs> Which is stay static and after the ball. That's really, it's ridiculous. It, and this, wow. is what, this is what I mean about the, 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 the sort of sentiment and, and stuff on like... The, the new age football about how we forget how football was played because there's too much disrespect on how the game was in terms of, like I said, the formations, how people used to play. It was 1v1 battle. As a midfielder, you had to be able to do everything. Roy Keane could score, he could tackle, he could assist, he could do everything. Rod, Rodri, Rodri, the Champions yeah. League and, 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 and fantastic. He got towards, suspended in the towards, Champions League and yeah, down yeah, in but the but final. He got, he got us to the final, yeah, mate. Yeah, what did he do? He made sure he scored and done his job even though he knew he weren't going to play. Wasn't there, though, in the final, was it? Do you know what I mean? Your guy, Lack of discipline, lack of discipline. Rodri's your man. OK, so, right, okay let, let's work out... Uh, Making we'll my seat fall off and everything. Yeah. Debate. <laughs> Head's going out. Is, there, is there someone that's nailed on for your own team? We've got to pick a three here. I, I'm guessing... Paul Scholes. Know, words. You're going to say Scholes, nailed you're on. going to say De Bruyne. I don't Brian, want to hear it, yeah. Steve. Come yeah, on, yeah, this no. is Paul Scholes. No, I like Paul Scholes, yeah, 100%. No, I've you always... should love Paul Scholes. No, I don't love him, do I? <laughs> <laughs> do I? He's a legend of Manchester. You know. do, you you love, do you like him? I like him. I like him, yeah. OK, so if Scholes is nailed on for you, is KDB your nailed on? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Maybe the greatest midfielder in Premier history. Well, that's the conversation. He's in there. He's who who will have it. the bigger legacy, do you think, once Kevin's retired, Scholes or De Bruyne? De Bruyne. Scholes came out of retirement and won the league again. That's because you was that desperate. You yeah, and him. because he's that good. <laughs> Because he's that good. He got a pair of, he got a pair of boots from Sports Direct. He's dragging about, people out of retirement. You know I mean? Now, Johnny, Evans wants to have a lie down. He <laughs> Paul Scholes, to mate. Paul Scholes is one, of the, is one of the greatest ever midfielders in football, as well as, well as no, Kevin is, De Bruyne. Yeah. But there's far, and this is what I mean. There's far too much disrespect. Since City have got good, right, and rightly so, mm. they're just forgetting all the people that went before them when it was in Division 1 or when they were trying to, you know, make their way in the Premier League for a couple of times before they got good. You've been there. I know you have. And I respect that. But let's not let's not do this. Let's not act like Premier League greats, football greats are just some nobodies because the new boys have come around with a new age football and these these guys are. So nothing. would you not have KDB on there then? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I, I was going to say when we were doing this, Akeem. I think you've got to have the, the argument Skulls is best and KDB, sen, b- best midfielders in Premier League history. Skulls and De Bruyne are in every conversation. Let's put them both on. They've got to be okay. there for me. Th- those two are nailed on for me. I those think two are nailed on. Which we, need, we need a third. A third midfielder. So you could have Rodri, could have Yaya Toure, could still have Roy Keane. So it's between Keane and Rodri, is that right? I'm going Rodri, yeah. Can I... So, so basically, what we're saying is here, right? <clears throat> You're telling me... Um, right, you can't have oh, hang on, can I, just, can I just finish my point? Can I just finish my point? Go on. The, the, the job, right, the task was to construct the best 11, yeah. right, out of the Manchester yeah. derby errors, right? True. So if we were doing that, if we had... Wayne Rooney in the number 10, and behind that you had Kevin De Bruyne and Paul Scholes, and I don't want to ruin the front three, right? Are you telling me that that wouldn't be a fantastic team? You've got a sitter... It'd be a fantastic team when we had the ball, but when we didn't have the ball, it's it's game over, everyone's just running right through us. No, it's not. (laughs) Of course it is, who's going to break it on the front foot? Who's looking after us We're playing the front foot. We're solid at the back here. We've got Vincent Company. And, and Rio, both, both happy. We need a decision. Are either of you Wayne going to concede Rooney's got to go there in the tent. I'm not conceding, no. It's Rodri for me. It's Rodri. Why don't we save Rooney, as we all agree, for a full position? So it's between Keane and Rodri. Are either of right, you happy okay. to concede it? All right, if, if, if you're going to say I can use um, well, we'll see. Rooney for 
further forward. Yeah. Rooney's got to go in this we team. Still got to no, we'll come back to Rooney. We've made that point. Right, OK. Who's the midfield three? All right, well, then it's going to have to be... Oh, I'm having Yaya over Rodri. Let's talk about Rodri. <laughs> Go on, then. He's got his little song. Go on, put Rooney. You're happy to he just scored see... in this time. Wow. Do you know what I mean? I think... But you won't let me do Rooney, will you? I think we were going to edge to Roy Keane there, but you've just conceded oh. as the United fan to Rodri. Oh, gonna... so... I thought you made your mind up for... between No, no, no. Wow, it's wow, team wow, you said... wow. Oh, no, I'm having, wow. Keane... I'm having Keane over Rodri. No, I mean, it's done now. I'm having so Keane over Rodri. Finish. I thought it was because of the Rooney thing. You said, finish. It's your team. You can have... No, I'm having, Roy... I'm having Roy want. Keane all day. No. Roy Keane all day. No. Well, it's got to go to the official gone. adjudicator, mate. It's gone. But it's on the board. No, it's not now. It's on the board, it's mate. It's got to go are, to the official Are you happy with, with, with Roy Keane or Roger? Are you happy to <laughs> Roger? It's a really difficult one to Roger, a million percent. You've right. got, you can't be Smithy, taken back enough now. You can't be backing off now. We just said Rodri. He's put him on the board. Smithy, Smithy doesn't want this. He doesn't want I think, this. OK, if everyone lets me speak, I will make my opinion. I think, obviously, midfielders now, you take Rodri out of the team, he's one of the most important players for Man City, one of the best players last season. If we're going on longevity so far, obviously, Rodri's got more years to come. Keane probably edges it, although that's not fair because Rodri's still playing. But Joe basically said to me before, we have to have Roy Keane. <laughs> so I'm going to get in trouble with my co-presenter. Nah, Steve really Keane, they've spoken, mate. Not there. Is wrong. They've spoken, mate. Very, this, very difficult ever, one. It's a longevity. 11. 11 because <laughs> everything's <laughs> about longevity. No, I get that. It and obviously counts, Rodri's still it got counts. to play. Top players, mate. 11 ah, major mate. trophies for Man United, <laughs> seven Premier League titles. Let's get the front three. Nah. Let's get your front three. Go on. I'm going to have to change it. This is going to be even harder, this. Yeah. So, there's no question. There's no point because it's going on longevity. <laughs> no, it's going on who's the best, mate. OK. Well, one of your players is surely. Wow, David Silva, Aguero, and Mares play Rooney, Ooh. Ronaldo, and Giggs. Well, Mares is definitely out of that. 100%. Million percent. He's the first. Got, got to get rid of him straight away. Yeah. Out, of, out of the names we've got here, Aguero, pff, unbelievable. David Silva, unbelievable. Mares, unbelievable. But when you're talking Giggs, Rooney, Ronaldo. Yeah. Where's Rooney come from? Well, I weren't allowed to put it. <laughs> what do you mean, where's oh, Hold on, from? we're going on longevity and now you're adding players? What do you mean? Mm. He's Manchester United's all time. Taking players out of the team. midfield, putting them up front. This is a stitch. Well, I weren't, I weren't allowed is there, to put it. Is, there, anyone, is, there, the up, is there anyone from Man City you think should be on there? Not ahead of these three, no. Wow. Wow. There you go. Even Sergio Aguero. Actually, yeah. well, I tell you what, my original plan was Rooney goes in a 10 and Aguero goes up front, then you've got these two on the wing. That's a fantastic. That is the best. Team combined, you can no. make out of all no. the players. Any man you know that doing. you're happy to concede with or not for this one? Is there any man you players you think Who's should definitely playing on be on the up right? There? Are you playing on the right? Uh, we'll go Ronaldo. Yeah, I can see Mares to Ronaldo. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. so Ronaldo, Ronaldo up. Ronaldo's up for sure. Then I think you've got to have. Well, there's. Sh you can't not have Rooney. I think it? you've got to have Aguero can. though as well. I think you've got to have Aguero as well. 183 well, goals. Got to go on the left, then. I think I think Aguero no. best goal to game ratio yeah. of any player in Premier League history. I agree with I think he probably yeah. has to be in the nine. Unbelievable striker. And that I means Wayne Rooney can play on the left. And that means Wayne Rooney, yeah. Oh, gigs, man. David Silva, man. So let's have, go on. Yeah. Talk about David Silva. I don't need to talk about him. You just know about him. David Silva's the man. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's he's everything about Man City. He's class as our greatest ever player. Um, so who would you change out of that team, change? David Silva? Rodri, I'm guessing. No, he changed Keane, right? I'd change Keane for Rodri, me. I can, I can handle Wayne Rooney, because Wayne Rooney was a fantastic player and yeah. I think he's just unbelievable. And it's David to be out of it, it's, just, it's shocking, but I'm not having him in there, no way. Can I ask a question? Mm. You can. Can I just do something really quick? And this is for the viewers at home. Is this not a better team, then? Go on. Is that not a better team? Then who so, Rooney in a 10. Oh. And you do that. Well, I'll put David Silva there. Yeah, all gigs. I'll, oh, you're I'll considering David Silva? I'll all accept that. Is that a better it. team? I'll accept that. Because the, the task at hand... The task at hand... Who have you the... taken off, sorry? He's uh, keen out for Runa. Yeah, okay. and I'm saying is the task well, let... at hand was to create the best... It if there was... was a cup final tomorrow... OK, let me ask a question. That is your team. Are you happy with that, Flex? Yeah. Steve, are you happy with Rooney's that? Because Rooney's got to go in there. OK, there's Where total agreement of that team. So there is confirmation. Because that's what they want. Managers, then. But we need this to be Rooney at Dar because he needs to defend. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that is the team. Um, Managers. Gaffers. Oh. Bergy versus Pep. There's no surprises. We're both going to go yeah. for our guys. Listen, he's not going to decide and I'm not going to decide. No. You're going to have to decide. Yeah. Uh, this is and close. It's, true. it's based on the best arguments. I need, I'll I need be honest, to hear your reasons. They've, 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 look, I think look, Ferguson revolution <laughs> of football. You know what I mean? Look what he did for, for Manchester United. Pep Guardiola, look what he's done for Manchester City. Look what he's done to the Premier League. He's destroyed it. The records, centurions, mm. never been done in the history of football. Formidables, all domestic trophies in one season, never been done. Winning streaks, all pep. Everything, basically, Premier League records, which Alex Ferguson had a chance to do, 
Pep swiped the floor with him. The only manager to win the treble with two different Europeans. Oh, and that's coming from Man United fans. So would you go Pep then? Um, <laughs> silly here, Joe. No, I would still go Ferguson. Ooh, but I think, I, I think <laughs> Pep, I have to him back by in. the time he leaves Manchester City, I, I, I genuinely think it's possible Pep could win another treble. We can't Absolutely. be going longivity, uh, longevity. OK, again. fair enough. 28 major trophies for Man United, including 13 Premier League titles for Alex Ferguson. Pep Guardiola, 31 trophies in 15-year managerial <laughs> career. Obviously, both won the treble. Interesting point from Joe there. By the time Pep retires, do you think his legacy would have surpassed Alex? Obviously, we're talking about two of the very best of all time here. Very tough. Yeah, so Alex is 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 the king for me. Um, by the time, you know, Pep's story's still being written. So, of course, he's got many more trophies to win. I agree with Joe that, you know, Man City could win another treble quite easily. They could. Um, but Sir Alex Ferguson, with what he done in terms of continually rebuilding teams when the threat of Jose came, still managed to win a league, when the threat of, if it was Rafa Benitez came, Arsene Wenger had to fend him off. Um, and he always rebuilt his teams, not necessarily going out and buying always the best players. Man United always had money, I understand that. But what he did with the class of 92, that is a Manchester United fabric. That is a Manchester United DNA yeah. to keep reinventing, to keep going and to win what he won for how long he won it for and dominate the whole Premier League era like he did. For me, it's still Sir Alex Ferguson. Not going to be an agreement here, is It there? does sound like, though, both of you are sort of a bit... You'd understand more Pep. It's, it's that, because, well, Steve, you're very much like it has to be Pep. I think Not we, we were all judged on... You've got to win three, three Premier Leagues in a row. We've done mm. that. You've got to win the treble. We've done the treble. This was the things Alex Ferguson was put on his mantle for, winning trebles three in a row. Pep's done that already. It's not going to be an agreement. But, but he's never done the Centurion season. N never. You know what I mean? He never no, won every domestic... Get one. It's, Alex said that you'd get... never win every domestic trophy in England, and Pep done it. So even Alex knows... Right, see, I've, I'm going to base this based on something that Man United fan Joe said. What? He, you think, by no. the end, Pep Guardiola will do another treble, <laughs> will do stuff that... He knows it hasn't down. Done. I can see it in his face. I think, by, based on that argument... Are we sticking Pep on? Do you want a dual management? Do you want a dual manager? Yeah. Yeah. He could be the assistant, a... yeah? yeah put... No, no, no. You're no, going to no. put him up? It's, it's impossible one. Why don't we ask the We'll have a sporting director yeah. as Pep, right? And we'll have a manager as, as, as Sir Alex. the cone man. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Let's okay. know what yeah. you think at home. Mm. Let's know what you think. There is confirmation of the greatest Manchester eleven some in team, Premier League history. Some team, to be fair. Let us know what you think. That is a great team, by the way.